BYD, the Chinese electric vehicle business partially controlled by Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, surpassed Elon Musk's EV titan Tesla to become the world's largest electric vehicle producer in the first half of 2022, demonstrating the Chinese automaker's endurance in the face of COVID-caused interruptions that beset its rivals this year. What all is spicing up in the car world? Welcome back to Tech Electric. If you're interested in the car world and want to know what is happening, you are on the right video. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Electric vehicles are still in their infancy in the Indian automobile market, with many foreign businesses, including India, launching their electric automobiles. In this sector, a Chinese business, BYD, has now debuted its MPV automobile. BYD is a Chinese brand that has just launched its first electric vehicle in India, the BYD E6 for RS 29.6 Lock X showroom. In addition, the 7-kilowatt charger is offered as an option for RS 45,000. Concerning the major specifications of the BYD E6, it has a range of 520 kilometers on a single charge and can be completely charged in 35 minutes. It is a fully electric MPV that will be accessible in Bengaluru, Delhi NCR, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Chennai, Vijayawada, Kochi, and Ahmedabad at first. According to the corporation, it is concentrated on improving the driving experience by incorporating best-in-class features. According to the automaker, the newly released MPV will not be sold as a passenger vehicle, but would instead target the Indian B2B market. Since 2007, BYD has had a presence in India. BYD, headquartered in Chennai, has two manufacturing operations in India where it produces electric buses and trucks. Aside from that, the company manufactures mobile components, solar panels, battery energy storage, and a variety of other products. The Maruti Ertiga, Toyota Innova Krista, Renault Triber, and Mahindra Marazzo now dominate the MPV segment in India. It will compete with these vehicles in the Indian automobile market. Car design, exterior, LED daytime running lights, LED tail lamps, leather-wrapped seats, a 10.1-inch rotatable touchscreen, and a CN95 air filtration system are some of the features that come standard on this model. Interior The BMW E6 has a modern interior design that will make you happy, and it also has plenty of space for you to stretch out. The BYD E6 electric MPV is equipped with McPherson struts in the front and a multi-link suspension at the rear. Additionally, it has an IPB intelligent brake control system, which the manufacturer claims is sourced from Bosch and has a quick response and linear braking capability. It features a 10.1-inch rotatable infotainment system with connectivity via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, as well as a CN95 air filter with a medical-grade face mask level, both of which are designed to be helpful for users. Speedy Charging Option for Rapid Charging The E6 is compatible with rapid charging via both AC and DC. You will be able to charge the battery from 30 to 80% capacity in about 35 minutes if you are using DC fast charging. It will be able to reach a maximum speed of 130 kilometers per hour and has a battery that is capable of delivering a maximum torque of up to 180 newton meters. This automobile features a trunk capacity of 580 liters for its passenger's convenience. BYD, a car manufacturer based in China, has announced that it will no longer produce vehicles with internal combustion engines and will instead concentrate on producing electric vehicles and hybrids. BYD will stick to selling just smaller gasoline engines that are equipped with highly electrified plug-in hybrid technology. BYD is not only one of the largest electric vehicle manufacturers in China, but also has a significant presence in the markets of the rest of the world, particularly in Europe. BYD Co. Limited has announced that it will no longer produce fully internal combustion engine vehicles as of the month before last. Instead, the company will produce only pure electric vehicles and heavily electrified plug-in hybrid models from this point forward. The automobile manufacturer asserts that this action is being taken as a component of the company's electrification plan for the brand. In a statement that was submitted to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange on Sunday, the automobile manufacturer said that going forward, BYD will place its primary emphasis on developing fully electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids within the automotive industry. This indicates BYD will not fully abandon producing vehicles that are powered by gasoline engines because the company's plug-in hybrid models will continue to use engines that are smaller and more energy efficient. Tesla's Competition Elon Musk's Tesla was the global leader in electric vehicle sales in 2022, fueled by the fast-growing Chinese market. In the first half of this year, BYD's total sales, including plug-in hybrids, top the U.S. EV pioneer. BYD, a longtime Warren Buffett investment, delivered 641,350 EVs and plug-in hybrids in the first half, up 315% from a year ago, 
compared to Tesla's 564,743, up 46%. Tesla's battery-only sales maintained its ahead of BYD. In June, 64,218 of BYD's 133,036 new energy consumer vehicles were plug-in hybrids. Tesla's lead appears to be decreasing as its Shenzhen-based rival and other Chinese competitors such as Xpeng and Neo ramp up production, notably of higher-end models that compete with Tesla's. The business tweeted on July 3 that the first half of 2022 sales topped 640,000 units. BYD seemed less affected by COVID-related lockdowns that hindered Tesla's Shanghai facility in April and May. Given how large China's EV market is, gains aren't surprising. In 2021, China will sell 3.3 million EVs and plug-ins, compared to 608,000 in the US. China has a wide choice of smaller, lower-cost EVs, such as BYD's Han Sedan, which costs $32,800. The average transaction price for a battery-powered model in the US is over $64,000, according to Kelly Blue Book, underscoring Tesla's dominance in that sector. Emerging China EV businesses are targeting the premium end of the domestic market and eventually worldwide, a Deutsche Bank stock analyst said. Leap Motor, Hoson Nita, WM Motor, BYD, and numerous OEM subbrands already compete intensely in the domestic mass market. Newer entrants are willing to absorb losses to achieve market share. NIO, inspired by Tesla's business model, has also achieved strong sales improvements in China this year, helped by new vehicles like its $69,000 electric ES7 SUV. In the first half, the company sold 25,059 EVs, up 14%. Analysts expect Tesla's manufacturing pace to accelerate in the second half of 2022, helped by new factories in Germany and Texas. However, output has temporarily halted at Giga Shanghai and Giga Berlin as those facilities are renovated to boost capacity. Tesla delivered 936,027 Model 3 and S sedans, Y and X SUVs in 2021. Its nearest competitors last year were China's SAIC and Volkswagen. BYD ranked fourth in 2021 with 323,143 EV sales, followed by Hyundai Motor Group with 216,562 EV sales. VW and Hyundai continue to challenge Tesla globally while Chinese automakers expand in Europe and Asia. GM and Ford plan to raise the production and sale of EVs to challenge Tesla's U.S. dominance. GM targets mass market shoppers with $26,595 2023 Chevrolet Bolt EV and upscale buyers with the $62,000 Cadillac Lyric SUVs and $109,000 Hummer EV. Ford's F-150 Lightning pickup, a battery-powered version of the top-selling U.S. vehicle, costs $37,974, while its Mustang Mach-E crossover costs $43,895, less than Tesla's entry-level Model 3 sedan. Tesla's luxury-priced vehicle line and a possible U.S. and European recession starting late this year may reduce demand by 2022. With economic storm clouds on the horizon and Musk believing a recession is approaching, what does this mean for Tesla's demand story? Ives wrote for Wedbush, while lower macro may limit demand in the coming quarters, we believe Tesla has adequate demand capacity to meet 2 million units in 2023 globally, with production capacity that can exceed this number when factoring in Austin and Berlin to a normalized China production market. Tesla confronts fresh competition in the U.S. from Lucid, Fisker Inc. and Rivian if they can ramp up production through 2023 and manage supply chain issues and growing raw material and component costs. Rivian said Wednesday it still intends to deliver at least 25,000 electric pickups, SUVs, and delivery trucks this year. Wednesday's Nasdaq trading saw its stock price rise 10.4% to $29.66. Tesla dropped 1% to $695.20. Poor Tesla. Well, the stock world is all about timing and luck. What will happen next? Who knows? Well, that is all for today's video. We will get more videos for you. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. And for more informative videos like this, subscribe to our channel. See you soon. To our